Hey, I'm Hunter March from Awesomeness Hollywood here with the cast of The Kings of Summer. How you guys doing? Good. Great. Man. Thanks yeah. for having us. Now, the plot of this movie is a young kid's dream, living off the land with your best friends and no parents. Uh, had you ever wanted to do something like this growing up? Uh, yes, and I failed miserably. I was like eight or nine. I remember I, I ran away, but lasted all of like 20 minutes. You know, I got up the block and then decided to quit. So nothing as impressive as this. Now, did any of you have any experience uh, before the film as adventures or any kind of carpentry ability whatsoever? I built a shield. Like, I carved a shield. You did show me a picture of that. It was pretty <laughs> impressive. It was pretty damn dope, actually. No, that, that was the extent of, like, my carpentry skills. He's, he's more legit than, than both of us. I, uh, I went camping a lot with my family as a kid. I still do, actually. But beyond that, no carpentry skills. I've never gone camping. Never? Mm -hmm. That was a Biagio look right there. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> if you guys could build your dream house anywhere, where would it be? Venice, Italy. I like that. Chagrin Falls, Ohio. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Like somewhere in Ireland. Like <laughs> the UK, yeah. I, I feel know. that. You know, like a cool house in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, right. I don't like the marsh. Yeah. Like covered in moss, like your house. I think Pete, I don't know. I think Pete's the um, what they use out there. Now, <laughs> which of you guys would get the girl in real life? Money. Yeah. Not not me. Because well, you yeah. just seem to get the cute one you know anyway. <laughs> it's pretty. It worked it's out. It's the white eyes. For you. It's art except imitating white. I got the, I got shafted. Yeah. <laughs> you had the first half of the film though to impress her and it blew it. it. You blew it. Flat on my face. You blew it. You blew it. But you guys work with some hilarious actors in this. Was it hard to keep a straight face around Nick and Megan and Allison during some of those scenes? You have no Extremely. idea. Extremely. Like. Whenever I look pissed off, most of the time it's me just biting my tongue as hard as I can to not laugh. They're, they're some of the funniest people in the world that we got the opportunity to work with, so uh, it, was, it, was, it was the everyday struggle. Was there any scene in particular that was just, that just stands out? I think the one where I just like lost it was with this guy in a scene <laughs> where, where, where we walked in and there was like my grandma there and then she was saying something. I don't know. Just the, it was like four in the morning. It, yeah, she had to give you a kiss, which yeah. for whatever reason I, it was <laughs> killed me. I don't know why. She lingered. Yeah, <laughs> it was like oh, I don't know. It was weird. But this was this and was at everything like four a.m. Yeah, so everything's funny at four a.m. Yeah, on screen you guys have a great friendship, all three of you. Were you guys friends before the filming? Uh, no, we all met at. Uh, well, actually, I met. I met Gabe um, at the audition, but uh, we all met officially as our characters uh, at improv class that our director uh, set up for us to get to know one another. And all. I showed up to one. Yeah, it's true. I was there alone most of the time. It's very it's difficult to improv with yourself. <laughs> See what you put me through? I'm sorry. Great, and everyone can check out the film May 31st in Los Angeles and New York, and then June 7th for the rest of the U.S. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Man. I kind of went into Irish yeah, after you went that. Into Irish, Whatever. So. Anyway, it was Australian, Australian and Irish. Okay, you obviously beat me in that okay, one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I've got a fantastic uh, piece of paper here. 